who am I today and especially thanks to those hard phases, see the positive sides of the thing higher power find my roadblocks find my limiting beliefs there is a full alignment and so this gives me a motivation actually think about ways how to be efficient what were the two or three main video games i played when i was young hey guys fresh out of the shower you know the drill today my hair is not wet because i want to go to bed in like a few minutes but i feel like i need to share that Today, in the evening, I got into a very special place in my head. Flow state where I understand the overall picture of my life. It may sound a bit weird, but let me tell you what I mean. I'm just gonna get the tripod so I can put the camera down. I want to make the world a better place. I want to make the world more equal for everybody. So everybody has similar chances. That it's just more fair in the world. Big factor why people are so different is because they have different informations, different skill sets, different tools. Education could be one or knowledge about yourself or also of course infrastructure where you live anything like that but for people to build a better infrastructure they need to learn how to build infrastructure for that they need to learn how to learn for that they need to learn how to build schools they need to learn how to create goals one of the tools that i am currently working on is how to manage your time to get to know yourself better, to then manage your time better, to then use your time so it's not based on luck. And this is the direction I want to take with the app. And then I thought like, what were the two or three main video games I played when I was young? And first of all, there was Minecraft. Minecraft, where you build you build stuff, you have different tools, you can build your own tools and you can work, walk around the world and build whatever you want. And then there was Overwatch. Overwatch, where you can choose different characters for different situations. There's like a character pool and according to what characters your enemy team and what the map, the surrounding, the location look like, and maybe the play style of your other team colleagues, what they use, what they, um, what characters they pick, you choose your character. And every, every character has some different traits for different situations. So <laughs> it was just funny because I was sitting there and I was thinking like, man, this makes so much sense why I played these games and why I now am really like, enjoying thinking about in this direction and thinking about building something building something which then helps you manage your character traits manage your different time periods your different situations at some days you need to relax at some days you need to work hard at some days you need to reflect at some days whatever and sometimes all at once and if you know yourself, your situation better, if you can plan for you how to go into these situations, I think that's a very powerful thing you can do. It's a very democratizing thing that everybody who has access to a phone can then download an app and learn how to manage their time efficiently according to their own personality traits. I was like 12, 13, 14, 15 making those videos, making let's plays of Minecraft, of Overwatch, some other games. You can still find them on YouTube. I won't tell you the name right now, but maybe someday. And now I'm standing here creating videos. It's funny 
how everything works. And then another full alignment vision. I watched the video before um, and the guy said, you should always push to your limits or over your limits for a short period of time where you really, really do as much as you can and more than that and really do like the sprint of doing all the things and doing more than that. And then afterwards, um, slightly going back, um, filtering out the not so important things, going back to the essentials. And by doing that, you just increase your baseline. You increase like your maximum. You just increase everything. The full circle moment for me was like when I thought like about being at the ETH in Zurich, using my time and effort and energy for something I wasn't like as much interested as it should require to study something that difficult. So I was always, always pushing over my limit. The whole time I was feeling like I'm pushing, 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 pushing over the limit of my unconsciousness, telling me, hey, I'm not interested in that thing. Please do something exciting, do something that you, you like, you know? But I think through pushing through the time, pushing actually over my limit, I increased this baseline. And now I have a time here in Vienna, the last year I went back with my intensity. And now maybe there's a time again where I can push harder, push higher, maybe even higher than ETH. But now, with the benefit of doing something I'm excited about. I'm really inspired and motivated about and I believe right now is something I'm very aligned at. I know at, at the beginning of ETH I also thought that, but about half a year in, I wasn't that sure anymore. So I pushed like over a year through, yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting how everything comes full circle. If you just work on it, think on it. Don't pressure yourself too much. But it's interesting because today I had a day where I was not at uni. Like the last, let's say, one and a half weeks, every day I was at uni studying for my exams and today I just didn't have time. In the morning I went to see my therapist just for talking about my goals and yeah, just talking with someone who is professional and yeah, so I can find my roadblocks, find my limiting beliefs, find my problems and find what's really the essence of what's holding me back for example and afterwards i had the mosaic event again where it was so often in the last weeks you probably saw that in some other vlogs yeah also there it was a very unconventional setting because um, we were presenting a powerpoint we, we were presenting an app idea what we worked on the past two days or past past half week and then presented it in English in front of a large crowd and it was very nice and was very exciting. I haven't presented um, in front of bigger groups for a long time. And then I met a friend and we ate for, di for, for dinner and ta had very nice toys and yeah, just has a, had a very nice but unexpected day because I thought it would be more studying. I didn't expect it to be like that. This maybe gave my brain some time to unconsciously connect all the dots. And that is what happened in today's evening. And I feel that's beautiful and that's what I wanted to share. And it also ties back to YouTube. I, I love, I really love and I really enjoy 
doing YouTube videos and also being vulnerable in front of the camera, talk openly about my yeah, problems or my thoughts or my past and just being honest about myself, about who I am actually. I want to share my journey. I don't know why, but I just have the urge to. Yeah, I hope you can take some parts from that hear my journey and maybe you have similar things in your life similar problems similar roadblocks and maybe you can just learn something from that for your own life maybe you can draw some conclusions i hope i can deliver the energy that i'm feeling right now through to you i really hope that this is working <laughs> saying yeah my past is my past and it was like that and it had a reason why my past was like that and maybe I can find some form of uh, happiness to that and saying thanks to my past I'm here now thanks to the ETH I'm here now and my baseline of productivity is higher or thanks to playing the computer games which I considered wasting time but not back then so that's okay I would consider it now but I'm also in a very different um, state right now in a very different life situation and it was okay to play video games back then and it was a very, very, very nice time. I really enjoyed that part of my life. And now I can learn from it, actually. That's, that's, somehow, that's somehow really great. This is sometimes very, very hard for me. Because there are some parts of my life where I don't want to talk about them. Like some dark parts, very, very hard phases in my life. But I think even through those, or especially thanks to those hard phases, I am now who I am. And rather than just pushing them away and saying, ah, that's not me and whatever, embracing them and saying, yeah, what, what did it actually make me? Who am I today? And maybe that's thanks to that. Maybe, yeah, that was a hard part hard time life has ups and downs without downs you wouldn't have ups because you just had a would have like a completely flat line you need ups and you need downs and then you can have ups again without the downs you can't have ups and like let's be real it's very unrealistic to have like a going like a thing just going constantly up you can have like a spiral you know spiral which feels like you're up and down and up and down and up and up. but actually you're going up yeah man life is great embrace life be positive see the positive sides of the things <laughs> even in the negative ones or even in those you consider or considered negative and maybe you can turn them positive like me think about video games think about ETH I had a long time where I was thinking about that I was a failure because I quit that it was a mistake to go there because I wasted time but no I learned a lot I learned a lot of li life lessons now I can draw conclusions and now I can be positive about it rather than negative. I'm not a failure because I quit. I just found a different path and that's okay. Now a note to you, Emmanuel. To me, but to you, the future Emmanuel. If you haven't noticed by now, I currently strongly believe that building the app idea is 
one of the best things you can do right now and the second best thing or maybe even slightly better or at the same level of good is building a YouTube channel where you share your journey this can be like a very very nice project for the next years I'm really excited about that building your two box of how to manage your time how to manage your days how to manage your routines sometimes you need different routines for this different phases in life and just knowing when what kind of routine will be helpful for you in that kind of phase what kind of books maybe also what kind of knowledge what kind of mindset all these things could be very nice youtube video topics so that's my message to you future Emmanuel. believe in yourself believe in your vision i feel like i'm a very positive place right now but i'm also very clear and understanding place and i see feel actually that there is some sort of connection there some sort of higher power maybe if you want to call it like that it just fills my heart with so much warmth and excitement to think about those things and to say the words when i said it earlier that it is a nice thing i can do for the next years i just saying that feels so powerful feels so nice and another full circle moment you can also build a course build some sort of community around that you always watch those kind of people on youtube building coachings building courses building communities you can also do that why wouldn't you i think you're a very special person very creative, empathic, very spiritual, open-minded. This is another full circle moment. That's exactly what we discussed or what we talked about with my therapist today. The things I like about myself. <laughs> the traits I like about myself. Man, I love my life. And even university. Even university can actually play a big role in that. Because university is a place where I can progress, where I can learn new things, where I can meet people, where I can have a routine, a, like a daily routine that's fixed. Some points in my life, some points in my weeks, where I have to go somewhere, where I have to meet people, and where I have to go outside of my comfort zone maybe and just being pushed a bit by different people and not completely relying on my self-intrinsic motivation. And also from the video you saw before about like productivity, there was a guy talking about flow state. He said that it's good for productivity if you take a block that actually would, like a work block that actually would take like eight hours and try to push it into a work block of three hours and then try to accomplish the same things to do the same things the actual value behind that is that you start to think about how to be more efficient with your time how to find new ways how to better do the things you do and this can apply to studying this can apply to youtube this can apply to um, creating an app and if I do all these things together I only have a limited time in my day to do those things I need to learn a lot about time management yes but I also need to learn those things for creating the app so that's fine that's good that's a way how I can actually force myself to learn these things and I'd be able to pursue a master or even a doctor degree in some 
use in the future. So I think there is a full alignment also with university because it just pushes me to be more efficient. And if you open up your time and say, oh, I don't have to do anything at all except for this little thing, I think then this little thing will fill up the time. But if you say, I have all this time, but I have so many things in this thing that actually don't fit into this time block, then you find paths how to decrease all of those little things a bit more so it at the end can fit into your time in your window. In the case that everything else takes so much time that I just can't possibly in any way or form after doing all the productivity things, all the things, whatever, still not being able to find time, then maybe it's time to reduce. And so this gives me a motivation and a kick to actually think about ways how to be efficient with building the app, be efficient with creating YouTube videos and be efficient with my all of the other things that I'm doing. Maybe in a year I will look at that back to now and say this was complete bullshit, what the heck, I'm now completely doing something different. Or maybe I will look back and say wow, I really saw into the future and had a vision. You never know, but that's, ex that's the exciting thing about life. If you would know <laughs> how your life would end how your life would go, it would be exciting. So, life is fucking exciting. <sighs> so that's it for me. I'm now going to bed. Thank you so much for listening. I wish you all the best, all the love, that you will find whatever you're looking for. And I know you can find that. Just believe in yourself that you can. I hope you could draw some value from that, some energy, some whatever. Maybe you could tell me in the comments what you actually learned, what you draw from this video. I would really love to see if there are some people out there who are interested in like this very spontaneous and long talking like that. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. And we see each other in the next one.